Don't you know that a man being rich is like a girl being pretty? You might not marry a girl just because she's pretty, but my goodness, doesn't it help? Have you ever found yourself watching an old Hollywood movie and being utterly mesmerized by the lead female characters? Truth is, the actresses of old Hollywood were a different breed, so beautiful and graceful yet so talented. One could tell that they loved to act and put their heart and soul into every role. Although most of them have passed away, their movies will forever immortalize them and remind people of a time when Hollywood actresses were the very embodiment of beauty and brains. Sure, they were all phenomenal in their own way, but some of them stood out for many reasons. Here are 10 old Hollywood female stars who were absolutely phenomenal. Audrey Hepburn Elegant, brilliant, witty, and charming, she was certainly not a regular actress. All Audrey Hepburn needed was a movie script in her hand and a camera in her face, and she would automatically morph into whatever character she was given. Sure, there were a lot of actresses who stood out in her time, but there was something magnetic about this particular actress. Her journey in Hollywood started when she took a leap of faith and relocated to America with a pocket full of dreams. With a desperation to succeed and a talent so glaring, Audrey took Hollywood by storm through her role in the 1953 film Roman Holiday. This film didn't only make her famous, but she also became the first actress to win an Academy Award, Golden Globe and BAFTA for one single performance, What a Trailblazer. After that major win, Audrey spent the next decade of her life wowing her audiences in films like Charade, My Fair Lady, and Two for the Road. When she was ready to retire in the 60s, she left her fans with 30 phenomenal movies. Each movie told a story of an actress who refused to be ordinary. Ada Lupino in an era dominated by manpower, Ida was determined to put women on the map. After her role in the 1939 film, The Light That Failed, it became clear that she wasn't your typical actress. She had a unique way of seeing things. Her roles weren't just lines on a script. They were pieces of a bigger picture she was eager to paint. Ada didn't always play by the rules. She clashed with the big shots in charge, insisting on changing scripts to make them better. This didn't always sit well with the studio bosses, but Ida wasn't here to just follow orders. She was here to make a mark. Then came the big leap. Ada decided to take matters into her own hands, literally. She became a director. In an industry where women calling the shots was rare, Ida broke through. Her first film as a director, Never Fear, tackled the touchy subject polio when no one else dared. But Ada didn't stop there. She started her own production company. Now she wasn't just an actress or a director, she was a boss lady calling the shots, making movies her way. Grace Kelly at the age of 20, Grace Kelly started actively pursuing her acting career, but even her didn't know the greatness that lay ahead. The big breakthrough came with the 1953 film Magambo, making Grace a bona fide film star. Winning a Golden Globe and earning an Oscar nomination, she proved she was here to stay. Grace was an embodiment of beauty and brains. Soon enough, Hitchcock's films became her playground. From the suspense of Dial M for Murder, to the thrill of Rear Window, and the allure of To Catch a Thief, Grace kept her viewers entertained. The actress later won an Oscar for the gritty drama The Country Girl in 1954, showcasing her versatility. This enchanting actress was truly one of a kind. Ingrid Bergman Imagine a storyteller who could transport you to different worlds with just a smile or a tear. At the age of 17, Ingrid got a taste of what it felt like to be an actress, and from that day, she never looked back. Having endured the tragic death of her parents at an early age, Ingrid found a way to keep her dreams of becoming an actress alive. After theater school, she began acting, and soon enough, she caught the attention of an American producer who saw her role in the 1936 film Intermezzo. She didn't hesitate to prove to the world that she was a star, and her roles in films like Casablanca left viewers in awe. Watching you go with glory in my heart! This actress had this incredible ability to make you feel every emotion. When she laughed, you giggled along. When she cried, you felt a lump in your throat. Ingrid didn't act. She became the character she played. Whether she was playing a courageous spy, a romantic lead, or a troubled soul, Ingrid made you believe in the story. Lauren Bacall The Golden Age was blessed with a lot of versatile actresses, and Lauren Bacall was one of them. Although undoubtedly beautiful, Lauren built an untouchable career through hard work and brilliance. Her looks were just the icing on the cake.
She started off initially as a model, but later fell in love with the art of acting. Her roles in films to To Have and Have Not, Dark Passage, and How to Marry a Millionaire proved that the actress was made for screens. Many people who loved her work testified to the fact that she poured her heart into her job and was always striving for excellence in all she did. Vivian Lee for Vivian, acting was the one thing that kept her sane all through her life. Whether she was battling tumultuous relationships or issues in her personal life, acting was her safe place. It was obvious that the Vivian was one heck of an actress in her time, not just because the audiences loved her, but also because of her passion for her craft. Her roles as Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind and her performance in A Streetcar Named Desire earned her two Best Actress Oscars. Vivian was indeed an outstanding actress, and one can say she was one of the best in her time. Mae West. Well, when I'm good, I'm very good. But when I'm bad, I'm better. Sensuality was a big part of her feminine allure, and she was not shy about it. Mae was bold, daring, and willing to do whatever she needed to do for her works to be publicized and celebrated. She often found herself neck deep in controversy, but she always also had a smart way of getting out of trouble. Although she got her first major role in the film Night After Night when she was 40 years old, her success proved that it is never too late to chase your dreams. She also appeared in She Done Wrong and I'm No Angel, all of which became successful films. Mae West would go on to inspire several women who came after her to be unapologetic and fiercely create the life they want. Joan Crawford any man's my man if I want it that way. All you needed to do was to watch her perform for a few minutes, and you would notice that she was the very embodiment of the powerful women she portrayed on screens. Not many people know this about the actress, but her story was a rags-to-riches story. Joan's early years were torture. From her parents' divorce to her mother's decision to marry over and over again, Joan's childhood was nothing close to glamorous. After taking several odd jobs as a teenager, she packed her bags and moved to Hollywood, hoping to become a star, and oh boy, did she become a big star. After her first major role in Pretty Ladies, she became unstoppable. Her roles in films like Love on the Run, Grand Hotel, and Mildred Pierce exposed movie lovers to her dramatic, powerful, and passionate acting style in the 1930s. Joan Crawford was truly one of a kind. Olivia de Havilland, with her innocent smile and unique talent, carved her name into the annals of Hollywood history as a truly phenomenal actress. With a career spanning several successful films, Olivia's versatility made her stand out in an industry where most of her colleagues were typecast. She wasn't confined to one genre. She effortlessly transitioned from drama to romance, leaving her fans wondering how she does it so effortlessly. Her ability to embody a range of characters, from the charming Maid Marian in The Adventures of Robin Hood to the resilient Melanie Hamilton in Gone with the Wind, showcased her remarkable range. Olivia's talent was a captivating force, drawing audiences into the narratives she inhabited. In a world where actors come and go, Olivia de Havilland remains etched in the hearts of moviegoers as a true icon. Bette Davis One thing is true, this powerhouse actress wasn't one who played by the rules. People who saw her behind the scenes of productions said she was no ordinary actress. She was a perfectionist, both on and off the set. Every role she embraced became a canvas for her relentless pursuit of excellence. A role that etched Bette Davis into the Cinematic Hall of Fame were Margot Channing in All About Eve in 1950. History witnessed Bette's ascendancy as the first female president of the Academy Award nominations a groundbreaking feat that shattered glass ceilings in the film industry. To top it off, she became the first woman to rack up an astonishing 10 Academy Award nominations. So what made her a phenomenal actress? It was the fire in her performances, the way she breathed life into characters. Whether she portrayed a cunning socialite or a tormented woman fighting for her rights, Bette's authenticity was a magnetic force that drew audiences in. If you enjoy videos about old Hollywood, consider subscribing and leave a comment below with the video topic you'd like us to explore in the next video.